Have you ever found yourself lost in the depths of despair and transformation? Exploring the dark night of the soul and ego death unveils the second phase of spiritual awakening. The dark night of the soul is a term used to describe a profound period of inner turmoil and spiritual crisis. It's like going through a tough time where you feel lost, confused, and disconnected from yourself and the world around you. This experience is significant because it marks a crucial phase in the journey of spiritual awakening. During this time, you may feel like everything you once believed in is falling apart, and you're left questioning the meaning and purpose of your existence. The dark night of the soul has the power to bring about a deep transformation within you. It's not just about feeling sad or going through a rough patch. It's about confronting your deepest fears, doubts, and insecurities. This process can be uncomfortable and challenging, but it's necessary for your spiritual growth. It's like breaking down the walls that you've built around yourself to reveal the truth hidden beneath the surface. Through the dark night of the soul, you have the opportunity to let go of old patterns and beliefs that no longer serve you. It's like shedding layers of armor that have been weighing you down, allowing you to step into a more authentic and aligned version of yourself. This process can be painful at times, but it's essential for uncovering your true essence and reconnecting with your inner wisdom. Ego death refers to the dissolution or transcendence of the ego, the part of us that identifies as separate from others and the world around us. It's like letting go of the illusion of individuality and realizing our interconnectedness with all of existence. This concept is crucial in the journey of spiritual evolution because it marks a shift from a limited sense of self to a more expansive, and inclusive consciousness. When we experience ego death, it's like breaking free from the constraints of our ego-driven desires, fears, and attachments. We no longer see ourselves as separate entities striving for personal gain or validation, but recognize ourselves as part of a larger whole. This shift in perspective allows us to experience a deeper sense of unity and interconnectedness with all of life. Ego death opens the door to profound spiritual insights and experiences. It's like peeling away the layers of egoic conditioning to reveal the essence of our true nature. In this state of egolessness, we may experience moments of boundless love, peace, and clarity. We realize that our sense of self is not confined to our individual bodies, but extends to all beings and the universe itself. Through ego death, we undergo a process of spiritual rebirth and renewal. It's like dying to our old selves and being reborn into a higher state of consciousness. This transformation is not always easy as it requires us to let go of deeply ingrained beliefs and identities. However, it is essential for our spiritual growth and evolution. While the dark night of the soul and ego death are closely related experiences in the realm of spiritual awakening, they are distinct in their nature and manifestations. The dark night of the soul primarily involves a period of intense emotional and psychological turmoil. It's like navigating through a dark and stormy sea of existential angst, where one feels overwhelmed by feelings of sadness, despair, and confusion. This experience often arises from a deep sense of disconnection from oneself, others, and the universe at large. It's like being lost in a labyrinth of self-doubt and existential questioning unsure of where to turn or how to find meaning in life. On the other hand, ego death is more about a fundamental shift in consciousness. It's like peeling away the layers of illusion and recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. Ego death 
involves a dissolution or transcendence of the ego, the part of us that identifies as separate from others and the world around us. It's like letting go of the ego-driven desires, fears, and attachments that keep us trapped in a limited sense of self. This experience can be both liberating and terrifying as it challenges our very sense of identity and individuality. While the dark night of the soul often precedes ego death, they are not necessarily sequential stages in the spiritual journey. One can experience ego death without going through a prolonged period of existential crisis and vice versa. However, both experiences are essential for deepening our understanding of ourselves and the nature of reality. Signs of the dark night of the soul often manifest in subtle yet profound ways, signaling a deep inner transformation underway. One common indicator is a pervasive feeling of emptiness, a sense that something fundamental is missing or lacking in life. This emptiness can be accompanied by intense emotional turmoil, including feelings of sadness, despair, and anxiety, which may seem to arise from nowhere, overwhelming the individual. Activities and interests that once brought joy may lose their appeal, leaving a sense of disillusionment and questioning the meaning of existence. Existential queries may become persistent, with the individual grappling with profound questions about life, death, and the nature of reality. Despite being surrounded by others, there's a profound sense of isolation and loneliness. This isolation stems from feeling disconnected from oneself and the world, contributing to a pervasive feeling of alienation. The toll of this inner journey extends beyond emotions, manifesting in physical and mental exhaustion. Fatigue, insomnia, and heightened stress levels are common, reflecting the intense psychological upheaval occurring within. Spiritually, there may be a crisis of faith, a questioning of deeply held beliefs and values. This crisis can be disorienting, leaving one feeling adrift and uncertain about their spiritual path. Yet, amidst the darkness, there's often a heightened sensitivity to the suffering of others, leading to a deeper empathy and compassion. Despite feeling disconnected, there's a yearning for authentic connections with those who can understand and empathize with this journey. Navigating through the dark night of the soul demands a gentle yet resilient approach, marked by self-awareness and inner reflection. Begin by extending compassion towards yourself. Acknowledge that this period of turmoil is a natural part of your spiritual journey, and it's all right to feel bewildered or lost. Allow yourself the space to experience your emotions without judgment. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily life. Practice observing your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without getting entangled in them. This practice cultivates a sense of inner peace and detachment from the fluctuations of the mind. Seek solace in the company of trusted confidants or spiritual mentors. Sharing your experiences with others who understand or have traversed similar paths can provide invaluable support and validation. Dedicate time to introspection and self-reflection. Journaling, meditation, or other contemplative practices can illuminate the depths of your psyche, unveiling underlying patterns and facilitating inner healing. Embrace solitude as a means of fostering self-discovery and renewal. Allow yourself the opportunity to delve into the recesses of your being, away from the distractions of external influences. Prioritize self-care practices that nurture your overall well-being. Attend to your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs by engaging in activities that promote relaxation, joy, and vitality. 
Explore and deepen your spiritual beliefs and practices. Engage in rituals, prayer, or meditation that resonate with your innermost being, fostering a deeper connection to the divine. Remain open to the fluidity of this transformative process. Embrace the uncertainty and allow yourself to evolve organically, trusting that this period of upheaval is paving the way for profound growth and insight. If necessary, seek professional guidance from therapists or counselors specializing in spiritual matters. There is no shame in reaching out for additional support to navigate through the challenges of the dark night of the soul. Embracing ego death is a courageous act of surrender and transformation, an invitation to let go of the familiar confines of our egoic identity and open ourselves to the vast expanse of our true nature. At its core, embracing ego death involves a willingness to confront the illusions and limitations of our ego-driven self-concept. It's like peeling away the layers of conditioning and false beliefs that have kept us imprisoned in a narrow perception of reality. This process can be daunting, as it requires us to confront our deepest fears, insecurities, and attachments head on. However, in the face of this existential upheaval lies the promise of profound liberation and expansion. By embracing ego death, we create space for the emergence of a more authentic and aligned version of ourselves, a self that is rooted in love, compassion, and interconnectedness with all of existence. Embracing ego death is not about annihilating the ego or denying its existence, but rather about transcending its limitations and integrating its wisdom into a larger, more inclusive framework of consciousness. It's like recognizing the ego as a valuable ally on our spiritual journey, a guide that can help us navigate the complexities of human experience while remaining anchored in the truth of our essential nature. In practical terms, embracing ego death involves cultivating a spirit of openness, curiosity, and humility towards the process of inner transformation. It's like approaching each moment with a sense of wonder and awe, recognizing the inherent mystery and beauty of life unfolding before us. It also entails a willingness to release our attachments to external identities, roles, and possessions that reinforce the illusion of separateness and scarcity. Instead, we learn to find our sense of worth and fulfillment in the richness of our inner being, a wellspring of boundless love, creativity, and abundance. Ego death is not merely a cessation of the ego, but a profound transformation that has the potential to reshape our entire perspective on life and existence. Through ego death, we undergo a fundamental shift in consciousness, a shedding of the illusion of separateness and a recognition of our interconnectedness with all beings and the universe itself. This realization fosters a deep sense of empathy, compassion, and unity, transcending the boundaries of ego-driven desires and attachments. The transformative power of ego death lies in its ability to dissolve the barriers that divide us from ourselves, others, and the world around us. It's like breaking free from the confines of our limited self-concept to embrace a more expansive and inclusive sense of identity. Ego death invites us to surrender to the flow of life, relinquishing our need for control and certainty it's like stepping into the unknown with trust and faith, knowing that we are guided by a deeper wisdom and intelligence beyond our individual understanding. This transformative process can be both liberating and terrifying, as it requires us to confront the deepest recesses of our psyche and relinquish the egoic patterns and beliefs 
that no longer serve our highest good. It's like peeling away the layers of conditioning and illusion to reveal the essence of our true nature, a boundless and eternal consciousness that transcends the limitations of time and space. Ultimately, ego death is a journey of self-discovery and spiritual evolution, a process of dying to the old self to be reborn into a higher state of consciousness. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes of its own destruction, renewed and transformed by the fire of inner alchemy. The transformative power of ego death extends far beyond the individual, rippling outwards to touch the lives of others and the world at large. As we awaken to our true nature and embody the qualities of love, compassion and unity, we become agents of healing and transformation in the world, inspiring others to embark on their own journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more insightful content.